Hello everybody and welcome to another week of distance learning. I hope you're all doing well. So just as a quick reminder, last week we talked about the four instruments of the orchestra, which were the violin, the viola, the cello, and the bass. That was just a little brief overview of all four. Starting this week, we're going to go in depth to learn a lot more about each of these instruments. So this week we're going to talk about the violin. The violin is the highest pitched string instrument in the string orchestra. Uh, very commonly, you have the violin playing the melody. Uh, so we're just going to go over a few brief things about it, ways to play it, and then we're going to watch a video on the next slide of how they're made. So, let's start by talking about the violin itself. The violin has four strings. Here they are, here's string one, string two, string three, string four. It has four strings in total. We learned about the different parts of the violin last week, so I'm not going to go over those too much, but I am going to go over different ways I can play the violin. So first of all, the violin is usually played by taking the chin rest here, and I kind of rotate the violin around, and I put my chin on that chin rest, and I also have the bottom of the instrument, or the back of the instrument, on my collarbone. Then the bow which, as a reminder, the bow has hair from horses. What I do with the bow is I just place it on the strings and I pull the bow across the string to play it. So those are just what we call a down bow, where I bring the bow down. But I can also do up bows and connect them, like this. So, when we use the bow to play the violin, that is called arco, A-R-C-O, arco. Arco is the Italian word for bow, um, and in Spanish as well, arco, like a bow and arrow. So that's an easy way to remember it. So the bow, when we play with the bow, is called arco. Now, not all music is played using the bow. Sometimes the violin is played by plucking the string. When I say pluck the string, that means I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to pull the string and let go. That is a pluck. So when we pluck the string, the word for that in music is called pizzicato. Pizzicato is an Italian word that means to pluck the string. So again, we have arco. And we have pizzicato. So when I need to change the pitch or the note that I play on the violin, I do that by placing my fingers on the string. So for example, if I'm playing this one string here, which is called the D string, as you can see, none of my fingers are touching it. So if I start putting fingers down, I change the pitch. So the further down I go on the instrument, the higher the pitch will go. And then the further I go to the scroll of the instrument, the lower the pitch will go. Now in the next slide you're going to see a video of how it's made. The rest of your quiz questions will be found in that video. So please make sure you do move on to the next slide so that you can complete your quiz. I hope you're all doing well. Take care.